Hey, it's Max Carter. And Nick Bonacci of Serious Software. In today's video, Rob St. Cyr will be showing us the site survey feature. All on control. In this video, I'd like to discuss the site survey product. I'd like to go through printing the initial survey and then entering in the answers when that survey is returned from the location and then setting up the survey questions adding the questions for what kind of site surveys your shop does setting the defaults for those as far as what answers you would like retrieved and then setting up the answer list to begin with if we're in control inside of an estimate under the service and installation category there's a product for site survey the first thing you'll notice is it billable or not billable such as if this is internal and you're not billing anyone for the survey it's not billable if you're doing a third party and you're going to send them a bill for this survey you just click that off as billable the survey location is it at the client's location or a third party location if it's a third party location you can just choose that and then fill in the address of the shop for any sign details this is really if you know the sign that needs to go there what is it that needs to be placed and that information is given uh, what type of sign it is and this really could be anything from a pylon sign a box sign a banner etc and how's it going to be mounted in your options wall pole but this really could be ropes and the height above ground the sign should be and then the sizes of the signs should be going there and if there's pylon what size those will be if you know this information or proposed information the location information tab is the information about the people at the spot of the sign so even though you have a client who's ordered this or you're going to do it it may be at a mall and that mall has their own people you need to discuss things for access who are they what's their numbers and when you can access that location the travel information this again is if you know you have to travel an hour to get there and you're billing this is billable or you want to track it for expense purposes what are your mileage lodging per diems etc then we come to when will the survey be done if you know this information there's a survey time how many hours and minutes do you perceive this to take and if there's any travel time to and from that location how many people if you need know this as well and what kind of labor is that that's going to be doing it you also have an option for a crew two this is really if you need to take two trips they could be separate or if you need to outsource such for an electrician or plumber or anyone else then we get to the survey questions you'll see the default questions such as road access ground type and then the default answers now this is a default answer even though our drop down list are the ones individual if I know the answer I can go ahead and answer it if not it will print the information that's in the default so that whoever's doing the survey can just quickly circle or highlight that option each category location electrical and other there are three drop down lists that you can choose what your defaults and what's in these drop down list and three memo fields if we look at how this prints now if I was going to print the work order or which has the site survey details it has the information that we already know the location the crew as well as any if I had to enter any sign information it would be in here as well and then my survey questions that I have with the default answers listed and a spot for them to sketch it out that way they can bring this with them, circle and fill in the answers that are appropriate and do a quick sketch. Then when they return, you can take the printed form and fill in that information, such as road access. Maybe he may be in a parking lot now that that's answered. If you come and fill these answers back in, you have a permanent record of that site survey to go back to. 
Now let's look at how this is set up. These questions, as I said, they're customizable by the client to be able to set up the ones that are applicable to their type of business. In the system, you'll notice it has pulled up a part, another for site survey, a standard survey. This can be seen in your standard setup in the adjust part information screen as well in the site survey parts. We have the standard survey and then our questions. In this case we have road access would be our question and then what our defaults would be. This may be a little easier to see in the part itself. So let's go ahead and look at the part setup. If we're looking in the part setup under standard survey, you'll see the site survey tab. In this case, these are my default questions down the left hand side. Location, electrical, other, etc. And then my default answers. And the default answers are really what you want it to print on the survey itself when it goes out for them to highlight or circle. If you have a location a question filled in but not a default, it's just going to print a blank line for them to hand write in whatever they would like, similar to what the location notes look like currently. These set up your defaults and then the list values themselves, as far as what is in these lists, are set up a little separately. The easiest way to set those are are directly in the estimate. Once you've set your questions, if you're in the site survey, if I wanted to add, in this case, I have ground type soil concrete, but in my drop down list, all I have is soil. So I want to go ahead and fill in those others. In this case, I will view edit list. It will bring up this screen. I can insert a row and then fill in my other answers. Insert another row will fill in another answer. You can also just leave a blank line. That way, when I'm in this questions, it's just letting me know I put in a blank line. Now under my ground type, you'll see I have concrete and soil. I can go in a blank line in case I want to blank it, delete it out. And you can go in and add and delete any of your default questions. These aren't limited fields, so even if I don't have it in my list, ground, soil, maybe I just want blacktop. You can just type in any answer. That's why some of these, such as obstructions, trees, power lines, and other, just gives them a spot to fill it in on the form as well. I hope this answers any questions you may have about the site survey product. If you have any further questions, please review our other videos or contact the Sirius Implementation Department. Thank you. Well, that sums up the video on the site survey feature. Thank you, Rob, Max, and Nick, and Rob, helping you gain control.